All right, y'all, we're about to season up some chicken. We're gonna have uh, some chicken and a flat iron steak we're gonna throw out on the smoker today. So we're gonna get this chicken seasoned up. I'm just finishing off uh, some of this. Uh, I've been calling it 41 South. I had a uh, somebody comment the other day that it's 441 South. So we're gonna roll with that, the 441 South. And this is that uh, Game Changer by Sweet, uh, the Sweet Uncle T's Game Changer. I really liked it the other day on that pork. It turned out really, really good. Uh, so we're gonna try it out on some chicken today. We got enough of this to kind of dust this chicken up. These little bottles don't last too long, so I'm just finishing it off. Gonna let it sit on here for a few hours before we go to cooking this stuff. I noticed the other day, the ribs that I did, I put it on there and let it sit for about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And uh, I got more of a sweet flavor out of it that way. And then I let it sit on the uh, tenderloins for like two or three hours. And it was quite a bit more peppery, which I liked. Uh, so I'm gonna let that sit in for several hours today. And we got this flat iron steak here. I've still got quite a bit of this True Grit by the same company. I'm gonna give it a pretty heavy coating on there. And we're gonna do the same thing with this. Let it kind of penetrate this meat over the next few hours before we actually throw it out there on the smoker. Cause the kids won't be home until kind of late today. And, uh, so I've got plenty of time to let this stuff soak up all these seasonings that we've got. I love a good flat iron steak, but I've always grilled them out on my Weber. Kind of like a slow grilling session usually when I do them, because they do have a little bit of connective tissue in there that needs to break down. But I thought it'd be a pretty good cut of meat to put out on the smoker and see what goes on with it. I might uh, end up doing a reverse sear on it. Not 100% sure, but we'll kind of just see how the how the cook goes. I don't think it's gonna take really long uh, time to smoke this. I don't think it'll take real long at all. So probably cook the chicken for I don't know, probably three hours, and I'm thinking this might go for maybe like an hour and a half or something like that. I'm not sure. I've never done one on the smoker, so this is a kind of a learning experience for me. And uh, y'all just stay tuned, and uh, I'll, once I get the smoker fired up and everything. Oh, I'm doing a new, I'll probably bring y'all back when I am firing up the smoker, because I've got a, uh, I'm trying out something new out there. So I'll bring y'all back here in a little bit. All right, so we're trying something a little bit different today. I normally have this uh, uh, coal burning plate on here, but today we're gonna burn just in the bottom of this uh, firebox and see if that makes a difference on how uh, easy it is to control temperature and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get this thing lit up. about out of my fire starters too so we're just using some paper towel it's got a little bit of oil on it and we got today I added some lump charcoal to see if that helps us establish a coal bed quicker we'll see like I said this uh, barbecue is all about playing around trying new stuff out so we'll see how things go today I'm firing it up a little bit early because I'm gonna do uh, just a little, I got a, it's like a top round, eh, it's like a, kind of like a, it's in between a steak and a roast, <laughs> it's, 
Yeah, but it's been in the freezer for a while and it needs needs to get cooked. So that's something I'm adding. I'm gonna cook it early and just let it kind of be snack food or whatever throughout the day. But we'll get it cooked. We'll probably let it smoke for a couple hours and then maybe throw it on top of the on top of the uh, on the cowboy grill once I get ready to put some sear marks on it. But I just wanted to do a little experiment today on running this fire uh, on the steel drum instead of on the fire plate but we'll see how it goes i'm not sure if it'll make a big difference but i do know that when you're got that fire plate in there some of your good hot coals end up dropping down and not really doing a whole lot for your fire so we'll see if this makes a difference on how easy it is to control everything so I'll, uh, I'll give you some updates throughout the day on how well it worked for me and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to try this uh, little bit of London broil, this snack meat that uh, I cooked. This is an appetizer to tonight's dinner. We're going to try a little bit. Looks good. It's got a pretty good smoke ring. I don't know if you can see it in the light out here or not. It looks good. We took it off about 134 and let it rest for a little while. Well, it smells good. Puppy dog over here says he wants to try some. We'll, we'll let him try some here in a minute. Mm. Pretty good. This is a uh, Kroger's Private Selection Texas inspired rub. It's salt, pepper, garlic. Uh, I think it said it had some coriander, different stuff like that, but it's good. Oh yeah, it's good. That's a max try piece here. You ready, little buddy? Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it good, bud? Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're about to throw the uh, leg quarters and that flat iron steak on here. It's getting about time to throw it on there. Uh, kids have got dance class tonight, so it'll be later on before they get home. So it's uh, it's almost three o'clock now. So we're about to throw this stuff on and get it smoking. And I'll bring y'all back after I get it on and whatnot. Well, these are looking good. I just got them out of the refrigerator. Getting ready to throw them on. I think I'm gonna throw the, might throw the flat iron up there, let it cook a little slower, we'll see. We'll see how, I've never, oh, I've cooked some, uh, uh, bratwurst and stuff up there before. Throw this chicken on here. Sure is looking good. We'll get this thing shut back up. Let it get to cooking. That flat iron, man, that, that's, uh, that's that true grit season. It looks really good on that flat iron. I let it soak in for a few hours. It looks good. All right, we're gonna shut her down and let her get to cooking. It's a two hour update. 
Things looking pretty good in here. Probably probe this chick in here in the next 45 minutes or so. Steak's looking good though. You're on the video. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll probe everything here in the next probably 35 minutes and see what it's looking like. Ooh, Ooh cause it's hot. Well, why would you touch it? It's alright. It's looking good though. Everything's looking good. Well, I've burnt my fingers before. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll bring you back here in a little bit. Alright, I'll just probe this chicken. It is done. I'm going to get it wrapped up and uh, wait on the kids to get home. We'll cut everything up here in just a little bit. I ran this uh, smoker without the stack extension on it today. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on what I'm feeling like. But uh, I'll get y'all some shots of the finished product and bring y'all back here in a little bit. Power went out in the house. So we got some potatoes we were cooking in the oven or now in the firebox over here. So, uh, you gotta adapt and overcome when it comes to feeding the family. <laughs> this thing was about out. I had it on just embers, but I, I loaded it back up and got a hot fire going. So we're just uh, making do with what we got. About like that right there. It's already going. It's already going. All right, we're unwrapping this flat iron steak from earlier. I've never smoked a flat iron steak, I've always grilled them. This is the steak. It looks great. It's okay. You don't have to have it. It goes dark after a few seconds of recording. Just leave it be. You mean a minute and like three seconds? However many minutes it goes dark. Do a little taste test here. Uh, <laughs> Daddy's doing a taste test. Can I do one? Mm, here. Yeah, baby, come here. I want to do a taste test. Good. All right, now we're gonna get the chicken out. I like it. Ooh, probably when I get to taste the chicken. Probably. That flat iron steak turned out really good. Uh, smoked. I've never uh, never smoked one before, but it, it did turn out good. Ooh. You want to put one on? All right, let's do a little taste test on this chicken. Ooh, it is hot. And really, really juicy. Huh? Wait a minute. You need to film what you're looking at there, buddy. It's part of filming. Can I have that one skin? Here, I'm just getting a taste test. Hot, <laughs> but good. 
It is really good. Okay, everything turned out really good. Uh, I'm really impressed with the smoked flat iron. Like I said, I've always grilled those on like a Weber or something kind of slow grill, but smoked, it turned out really good. We got a really good smoke ring on it. I don't know if the light's picking it up or not, but we got a great smoke ring. Uh, here, Max wants to try. Max, this is give me a bite. Yeah. He liked it. <laughs> Anyways, the smoke ring turned out really good. Uh, I'm very happy with the seasoning. I let it sit on there for a few hours and really penetrate the meat. Turned out great. Same with the chicken. I, I let the seasoning sit on there for a pretty good while, about three hours or so and, uh, before I started cooking. Everything turned out great. Uh, potatoes turned out really good. Our power went out, it just now came back on, but the power went out and we had to cook these out on the smoker. I started them off uh, direct on the fire in the fire box and then I moved them over into the smoke chamber. So, And that's my cowboy Kent Rollins spatula, love that thing. But they turned out good, I taste tested them earlier, they turned out really good. Oh, Rowdy says he needs a bite. The hot? Yeah. They are hot. <laughs> Might have to move it around. <laughs> he says they're super duper hot. <laughs> you gotta move it or yeah, the potatoes are hot still. All right, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, come back and see us for the next one. See ya.